What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $20 million buy-in. And they gave us 2,000 quarters to get started today. This game is extremely expensive, but luckily they gave us quite a few quarters to get started. So, uh, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a ginormous win. Wow, this right here is one of the craziest setups I've seen in there. They got like the world's biggest uh, wall or castle made out of $5,000 chips right here. Let me know what you think about that great big old castle down in the comment section. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. And uh, they got a ginormous like pyramid tower made out of gold and $10,000 chips on the pusher back there. And uh, let's see, they got two stacks of hundreds on the left and the right side. Now there's $10,000. In each one of those stacks of hundreds, so that's some pretty good money right there. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. Literally all of those uh, ten thousand dollar chips just fell backwards. Oh my goodness, this is doing amazing so far. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, that should give us multiple good waves of uh, quarters and stuff. Should push out a lot of quarters. All those ten thousand dollar chips back there. If we're lucky, we might be able to get these towers at $5,000 chips right off the bat. And that'd be the best case scenario. Yeah, but them $100 bills, they're in a position where they're going to like be stuck against the glass, unfortunately. So, uh, anyway, since we have probably about uh, 1,200 quarters left, I've already used up about 800 of those 2,000 quarters. Uh, let's just put a whole bunch of quarters in there. At one time, using the uh, skill stop technique and the rapid fire technique, I feel like that would be the most beneficial uh, play style for right now. Oh yeah, nice. There we go, and I'm pretty sure I just seen a blue Mister bag fall out of there. Yeah, there was a blue Mister bag right here in the center. That is awesome. Wow, look at all those ten thousand dollar chips and gold bars we're winning. Let's get the loot sheet cleared out. Wow, it was getting pretty full. Oh, nice. That was a good push right there. Oh, my goodness. I think I missed it, but all these $5,000 chips like, fell backwards or something. Well, that should make that tower a little bit easier to win. So, uh, let's put probably about five, 600 quarters in there using the skill stop technique. Now, like I said, this is a very, very uh, beneficial and effective technique for getting the towers to get moving. Yeah, if you only put a couple dollars in there at a time, it can take hours to move the ginormous towers. And especially like the skinnier towers, for example, those two uh, towers right there. If those were like on the corners and you just put a couple bucks in there at a time, it would take a long time to get those out of there. Wow, this is pushing so good today, though. I can't believe we got, well, the majority of them towers to crash down as fast as we did. That was incredible. So uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying this video so far. And if you're new around here and you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one every single day, seven days a week, 365 videos a year, uh, be sure you're subscribed to the channel and have the post bell notifications enabled. Uh, basically all that does, uh, you'll get a pop-up on your phone or uh, whatever device you're watching my videos on. It could be an iPad, tablet, TV, anything like that. Uh, pretty much you'll get a notification every single time I post a brand new video. And for now, the upload schedule is like... Uh, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's in between those times usually. Sometimes it might be a little bit later, like uh, 4.30 or 5 o'clock or something like that. But uh, I'm going to try to have this video on today by 4.15. That's my goal. So I appreciate all the support recently. The views are starting to go back up. And that tells me that I'm doing something right, so now let me know what I should continue doing to make these videos the best that they possibly can be. I would appreciate that. I appreciate all the feedback down in the comment section. 
And I also appreciate all the nice comments and stuff like that. Appreciate all y'all supporting the channel. Y'all truly mean a lot to me. Y'all remember back when I first started making these videos about three and a half, four years ago? Yeah, a lot of people told me I'd never make it past 20 subscribers. But see, that motivated me to just try 10 times more to get past 20 subscribers. And then we got to 1,000 in no time. And then, then we got to uh, 2,000, then 4,000. Then we were celebrating 10,000 subscribers. So that right there just goes to show you never give up on your goals. Don't listen to the haters. If anything, just use the haters as motivation. I mean, like all the kids from school many, many years ago made fun of me for doing this. And it's like, I mean, what, what can they say now? Like, I mean, really, what can they say? On the road to 200,000 subscribers. We recently got to 150. Which I truly appreciate that. Thank you all for getting me there. Yeah, my goal was to get to 150,000 for a very long time. We finally got there, so I'll say this again. I appreciate that. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for all the support. Y'all are truly amazing. Oh, yeah, well, that center's doing pretty good, but uh, the only obstacle we're facing at this point is these two ginormous uh, towers right here. Yeah, just by the way they look, they look like they would be quite difficult to win, so I sort of knew that this game was going to be a challenge. I mean, that's all right, though, as long as we can uh, break even. we got a long ways to go to making that $20 million back, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've got, oh gosh, at least seven, eight million in chips back already. All those ten thousand dollar chips was quite a bit, and uh, we got pretty much like half of that wall to crash down. The sides of the walls, uh, those are on the blue shelves. So uh, speaking of the blue shelves, what do they got on there today? There's quite a bit of stuff. There is uh, two ginormous uh, towers of ten thousand dollar chips on each side. And those brown and white towers right here, you see those? Uh, those are uh, $25,000 chips. So that is a ton of money right there if we can win those. I'd say each one of those towers is one and a half million, possibly 1.2 million or something. I'm not really sure. You're welcome to uh, pause the video, zoom in on all those chips and count them up if you like. It's really up to you all. And if uh, somebody would let me know how much each tower is worth, that would be amazing. Like I said, it's up to you, you don't have to. So anyway, I think we're going to have to stack up the quarters extremely high. I've just been getting quarters out of the uh, loot chute. We're doing pretty good on quarters at the moment, I guess, so... Oh no, I keep spilling all of them. Well, I don't know if this is going to work out, hold on. Yeah, I'm literally spilling all these quarters right here. All right, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Wow, we're winning so many quarters back in the center, though. That's amazing. Now, I thought I'd just seen the base of this tower uh, break free a little bit. Now this one is severely stuck against the glass. Yeah, uh, worst case scenario, if those towers remain stuck there for the whole game, I could always uh, call the staff back here to see if they can uh, rearrange them towers or something. That's usually what they would do if they got stuck against the glass. They would just uh, rearrange them towers for us, so. Yeah, we'll probably win them regardless. Yeah, if the towers are stuck against the glass, they'll either count it as a win or rearrange it. But these ones right here, where there is so much money, I doubt that they would count those as a win. Now, they're definitely going to make us uh, work for the money today. Yeah, on uh, yesterday's game, uh, the manager was talking to one of the employees, and he said something like, uh, do everything you can to try to get 
this guy to lose money and stuff. So the manager's goal yesterday was for me to lose uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. But uh, y'all are not going to believe what happened. It was very, very shocking what happened, but you'll have to wait till the very end of the video to see. So uh, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I highly suggest you uh, check that video out after you're done watching this one. Don't go nowhere yet, because there's still lots of exciting gameplay coming up. We're not even a quarter of the way through the game yet, I don't think. Oh my goodness, wow. Well, the majority of them chips that was stuck on the left just went. Yeah, and those $100 bills, I think those are pretty much a lost cause at this point because of the way they're positioned. See how they're like long ways and stuff? They're not going to like fall into the loot chute because they're stuck against the glass right here. But uh, anyway, uh, that loot chute is super piled up. I think we need to go ahead and separate all the chips and stuff. And uh, we'll round up the quarters and we'll keep on trying for this tower. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we get back to pushing, I would like to go ahead and open up this uh, blue mister bag right here. Uh, just to see if there's any special chips in there that might could uh, benefit us later on. So let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at all these $1 chips. I think there's uh, five of them. So each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So that is 2,500 extra quarters right here. That is absolutely exceptional. We got the $10 chip and the $5 chip. So uh, this $5 chip, we'll get to turn that in. They'll put all that stuff that is on the blue shelves into the playing field. And uh, the $10 chip, uh, we'll get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel and that wheel has a whole bunch of different types of chip values on there. And uh, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower or towers they'll build in the play field. Uh, sometimes it's more than one tower, and other times it's a whole bunch of towers. So uh, anyway, let's get right back to pushing. I'm going to try one more round and uh, try to get this great big old tower on the right. And uh, if we don't get it, I'll just go ahead and call them back here to see if they can uh, rearrange that tower. Oh my goodness, did you see that push on the left? Wow, that was a bunch of uh, five and ten thousand dollar chips we just got right there. That was incredible. So uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. Uh, let's try to get to uh, let's see, uh, fifteen thousand likes on this video today. Fifteen thousand likes. Yeah, I know we can get there. I just need everybody that's uh, watching this video to hit that like button. That would be amazing if you would. Yeah, if this video can get to 15,000 likes within one day of it being uploaded to YouTube, so uh, 24 hours, if it can get to 15,000 uh, likes, then tomorrow I will try a $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. How does that sound? $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. A lot of y'all have been wanting me to do that, so I might do that here soon. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that was about 500-ish uh, quarters at once. Oh, wow, that was a nice push right there. As long as we are uh, getting quarters back consistently, that's the main thing. Because without the quarters, you can't win none of the towers and stuff. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to end up calling them back here to have them rearrange that tower on the right anyway, so... Yeah, it's like not moving at all. Same thing for the stack of $100 bills on the left and the one on the right, so. Yeah, I don't know. Should we go ahead and stop right here and call them back here? Because I don't see us making any progress on none of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and call them back here and see if they can uh, rearrange this tower for free. So, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Alrighty, a and coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here, and they ended up uh, rearranging that tower. They pretty much reset the entire machine. Uh, they put the two stacks of $100 bills uh, back there on the pusher, so those are in a much better spot right now. And uh, the chips that was just scattered across the play field, those are still over there on the corners. And they moved that ginormous tower to the center, so that right there is a much better spot for it so now let's go ahead and load up the quarters using the skill stop this should definitely get things moving more than likely 
And uh, something else that I have not pointed out at all today, uh, there's actually four of the white dice on top of those towers that are on the blue shelf. So uh, those white dice, if we can win those, uh, we'll get to turn those, or we won't get to turn them in, but we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, and uh, whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. So uh, that right there could potentially make us hundreds of millions, possibly a billion dollars. Anyhow, we got that tower to crash down a few seconds ago. It fell toward the left, so that is absolutely exceptional. So uh, now let's just uh, push all these $5,000 chips out of the machine. That sounds amazing. Let's get it. Let's win all this money out of here today. Yeah, this is doing super, super well, though. Honestly, surprised doing this good. Yeah, I thought it would be a pretty difficult game considering it costs uh, $20 million to play. But that is an outrageously large buy-in. Oh my goodness, wow, did you just see that? That was remarkable. That was a fantabulous push right there, baby. Oh yeah, we're making an absolute fortune off of this game. Holy guacamole. Wow, this is doing incredible. And I think we're about to get uh, one of those stacks of hundreds, possibly. Nice, there it goes. Yeah, it still got stuck in the loot chute, though. We'll need to get that cleared out in a moment. So uh, after we win all this stuff out of here, I'll go ahead and turn in that $10 chip and the uh, 5 $1 chips. And we could really, really use those $1 chips. We don't have nearly as many quarters as we had a couple minutes ago. Well, majority of our quarters are inside the machine now. As you can see, they're all piled up in there. So I'm going to try to win every bit of those back before I uh, cash in another special chip. Because a lot of times, we uh, turn in the special chips. They like to uh, like rake all the quarters off of the play field, I guess. I think they'll like put them down there in those uh, gutters and that would go to them, it would go to the owner. And that goes for anything that falls down in there, whether it be chips, gold, quarters, dice. If anything falls down the side slots, the owner gets every bit of that. But uh, sometimes we'll get super, super lucky and win a, a $50 chip. It's not in there every day or nothing like that. It's probably in there at least once or twice a week. And uh, if we win it, We'll get to turn it in, and they will take everything that's fallen down in the uh, gutters, and they'll put it all back into the play field. Yeah, whenever I said gutters, I am uh, referring to those uh, side slots right there. You can call them side slots, uh, gutters, dealer slots. You can call it the house slots, uh, whatever you want to call it. Oh my goodness, well, I just now realized we got those $100 bills out of the loot chute. The quarters must have pushed it on out of there. So yeah, this is doing absolutely amazing. We technically got it all cleared out of there. I'm just trying to maximize the uh, quarter count real quick. Try to pull as many quarters from possible out of there. There's definitely quite a few stacked up in the play field and back there on the pressure, as you can see. Well, as long as we uh, have enough quarters to get all this stuff out of here today, that's all that matters. And another thing that I've not mentioned yet, uh, there's two of the ginormous dollar sign mystery bags on those uh, golden like stacks or something. That is a ton of gold in there. I haven't even pointed out the gold yet either. That is crazy. Don't know why I forgot about the gold, but yeah, that's probably at least 100 ounces of gold we're looking at, so... Yeah, and those probably are about like a little over $2,000 an ounce at the moment, so yeah, we definitely have the potential to make some crazy money off of this game. No wonder they was charging $20 million just to buy in. That's insane. Yeah, we definitely have the potential to make hundreds of millions, I believe. So uh, anyway, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is incredible. So let's go ahead and turn in the uh, $10 chip and the $1 chips, and uh, we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, a and coin brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $10 chip and all five of them $1 chips. They gave me 2,500 extra quarters. And I uh, got to spin that wheel and today it landed on $1,000 chips. I was hoping it would land on like $25,000 chips or something like that, but I'm fine with $1,000 chips. 
I mean, if you think about it, it's all uh, free money anyway, bonus money. Is that $10 chip is worth like one or more free towers. Yeah, I think they built like five towers in there in total. Or it depends if you want to count that one in the center as two or three towers. Well, yeah, you get what I'm saying. There was a whole bunch of $1,000 chips in there. I'd say we can make a couple extra $100,000 off of this game. And uh, say if the dice land on some pretty good numbers whenever we get a roll at the end of this game. Uh, that couple hundred thousand could be a couple million dollars. So it's worth it winning all these thousand dollar chips. Oh my goodness, that one got stuck against the glass. Come on, get it off of there. Nice, there we go. Jackpot, baby. Wow, this is doing super good today, like I said. So uh, if you've made it this far into the video without like fast forwarding and stuff, uh, be sure you comment the number 10 down in the comments. 10 is the number for the day. I'm only going to say that that one time just to be sure you're uh, still watching the video because I know a lot of people like to fast forward and uh, I wouldn't suggest fast forwarding through these videos because you might miss out on a lot of valuable information about the game and stuff or updates about videos or the channel stuff like that yeah, especially if you're new around here and you want to know what stuff is worth and how this game works uh, be sure you're watching all the way through that way you don't miss anything yeah usually the average uh, view duration of my videos say if it's like a half an hour long video the average view duration is usually about like 14 minutes or something, so most of y'all are watching about like half of the video and then just shutting it off and stuff like that. But uh, I would recommend you watch all the way through. And I know some parts of the video might be a little bit boring where I'm trying to get like one stubborn tower out of there that's on the corner. I know that can get pretty boring to watch. But see, a lot of times whenever I'm trying to win that tower, I go over a lot of valuable information that you might need to understand this game and stuff, so... I mean, it's up to you, but I would recommend uh, watching all the way through. Just to uh, get the best viewer experience. And trust me, the videos could be a lot more uh, boring if I didn't edit out the... What do you call it? Like the parts where I'm getting the loop shoot cleared out. And... Uh, separating all the chips and stuff. On average, these games usually last around uh, four hours, sometimes more, and I have to edit out a lot of stuff just to cut the video down to about half an hour. Yeah, I like my videos to be at least half an hour long. Seems like they do better if they're at least half an hour long, the videos do. It gets more views anyway, and uh, that's the goal, is to uh, reach as many people as possible. Because trust me, I really do enjoy uh, entertaining you all with these amazing videos. It's honestly the best job you can have. Well, that's my opinion anyway. It's the best job I could have. Because I really, really enjoy uh, entertaining you all with these amazing videos. And I will say this again. Thank you all so much for all the support recently. Now, like I said, the views are going back up. Y'all are commenting on the videos a lot more now. Uh, hitting that like button a lot more. And again, I appreciate that. And the more support these videos can get, the better the videos are going to get. So, like, for example, if we can get to 15,000 likes within the day of this video being uploaded, I will do a larger buy-in tomorrow and a uh, limited quarter game, like a one-quarter challenge, for example. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a one-quarter challenge, so I think it's about time to do another one-quarter challenge. What do y'all think? Well, the next time I do a one-quarter challenge, it's going to be a $50 million buy-in, so yeah, just be watching out for that video. It's going to be one of the most entertaining videos you'll see. Spending that much money. For only one quarter that would be insane so anyway we got all those thousand dollar chips out of there that round was super super successful so uh, anyway i'm gonna go ahead and turn in the five dollar chip and they'll put all that stuff that's on the side tables all into the playing field so we'll be right back
Alrighty, and the coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that uh, $5 chip. They took everything that was on the uh, blue shelves. So they put it all into the playing field. So uh, the two mystery bags, those are in extremely good spots. They're right up front there. They should fall off of there pretty easily. However, those towers on the corners look like they're going to be pretty difficult to win, though, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, like I said, there's four of the white dots on top of those uh, towers. You can see them pretty well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're all on the screen. Sometimes the towers are too tall to fit on the screen, but I think you all can see all them. So, uh, yeah, the white dots, like I said, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers, so those are very, very important to win. We may not even make our uh, $20 million buy-in back unless we get the dice out of there. So that's just goes to show you how important those dice are. And uh, who knows what's inside of these uh, two mystery bags right here. Oh, nice, we got both of them. Let's get them out of the loot chute real quick. Oh, my goodness. Well, this one right here feels extremely heavy. We'll check it out here shortly. Anyway, it's still pushing. Oh, nice, we're getting some gold to fall down. Check that out. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this mystery bag open right quick. Well, we might get another push. Let's see. I think we need to put some more quarters in there. Oh, yeah, that great big old golden tower back there. There it goes. Nice, there it goes. Wow, that was a huge avalanche right there, baby. All right, let's get that loot chute cleared out. It is extremely full. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh my goodness, the amount of gold that was down there in the payout chute is absolutely insane. Yeah, there had to have been like way over 100 ounces of gold in there today. That is absolutely amazing right there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, load up a whole bunch of quarters back there on the pressure. Try to get a large base of quarters stacked up behind these ginormous uh, poker chip towers. That might get them moving. You never know, but it'd be much better stacking up the quarters than it would be putting a handful in there at a time. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, usually the tall and skinny towers on the left and the right corners, uh, those usually struggle pretty bad to fall down. So uh, the only way we can uh, get them is if we... Uh, Pile up the quarters super, super high back there on the pressure. All right, so that right there was possibly about 600-ish uh, quarters at once. Nice, it's just raining gold out of there. Look at the way those gold bars are positioned. Wow, this is raining gold out of there, baby. Now, this could be a new record win for the gold today. Not really sure. I mean, I hope so. Hopefully it's a new record win for everything. Chips, gold, would be amazing. So uh, I know it looks like I win at these games every single time I play, but trust me, that is not the reality of the situation at all. At all, at all. So uh, anyway, like I only post the winning videos and sometimes I'll film like four or five games a day trying to find like the best video to post like I'll post the game with the biggest towers and the biggest win and the biggest profit and all that good stuff I'll just post the video that I find the most entertaining it would be entertaining for you all so uh, yeah usually I'll just save like the losing games or the games that aren't so good for days that I don't have anything else to upload but uh, I'm going to be posting every day consistently, seven days a week from here on out, probably, so. I mean, I might miss one day here and there. I will always make up the video by doing the two videos in one the next day or something like that. So, I'd be expecting to see a video every single day, at least for the rest of this year, and uh, hopefully for many, many more years. As long as the videos are getting good views... And y'all are enjoying these videos, I'll keep on making them for you all. But yeah, I don't suggest anybody ever uh, try this game right here, because trust me, you can lose a lot of money. It's outrageous how much money I've lost with these. I've definitely lost more than I'll ever win back. That's just the truth right there. Definitely lost way more. 
than I'll ever win, but, uh, yeah, if this is your first time, like, playing one of these, well, let's just start off with, like, let's say the gas station coin pressures or, uh, arcade coin pressure, something like that, and if you're playing one of those, I would recommend putting a couple dollars in there at a time, like two or three or four dollars at once. But I wouldn't pile up the quarters like that. The only reason I'm stacking up the quarters like that is because we're using the quarters to try to get these uh, mega million dollar towers right here. So that's the only reason I'm piling up the quarters. But if I was just playing for quarters only, believe me, I would not be putting this many quarters in there. Because you'd end up losing a lot more quarters in the long run. But uh, yeah, the quarters don't have much value compared to the chips and stuff. So I'm just mainly focused on winning all that out of there. Oh my goodness. Well, the one on the right side right here just moved. Hopefully we can get that one out of there. That's a very, very valuable power. All those uh, $25,000 chips. It's definitely worth a fortune. No doubt about that. Wow, this is doing miraculously well. Yeah, but there was this one time I was playing a coin pusher at like a skating rink or something. I think I've told you all this story uh, several times already, but I know there's a lot of new people watching, and I'll just uh, tell the new people watching this video about what happened. Uh, but anyway, I was playing this coin pressure to skating rink. I think I put like 20 or 30 dollars in quarters in there. And uh, there was a whole bunch of quarters on the edge and I went to go like get more money or something. I was running low on quarters. The owner of the machine like, I guess he like took all the quarters off of the edge that was in there. There was a bunch of them about to go. So yeah, I mean, technically the owner of the machine like cheated me on that one. He uh, took all the quarters off of the edge and stuff like that. But see, people like that don't win in the long run because, I mean, I never went back after that. It's been like five or six years ago, I have not been back at all. So, uh, so yeah, he lost money in the long run if you think about it because if... Uh, it would have been fair and I would have won money out of that machine. If I would have won all those quarters that was on the edge, I would have probably went back several more times and tried to win at it again, but he lost my business right there. That's all it took. He just uh, took all those quarters off of the edge and I hadn't been back since. And that probably made him lose, or he missed out on hundreds of dollars for me probably. Because I would usually spend, I don't know, like 30 or 40 dollars in quarters each time I go to the coin pusher and play them at like gas stations and stuff like that and skating rinks, bowling alleys, all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, if I had a coin pusher out on location and it was like making money and stuff, I would not be trying to cheat people. I mean, the games would be set up, you know, for me to make money. Just like all the rest of them are, they're set up for the owners to make money. But uh, I definitely wouldn't take the quarters off of the edge if somebody was about to win. That would not be fair at all. That would just uh, give you a bad reputation after that. So. Well, both of these $25,000 tip towers are getting really, really close now. All right, so uh, let's go down there and round up the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we get back to pushing, I would like to go ahead and open up both of these mystery bags right here. Let's go ahead and start with this one over here on the right. Yeah, this one feels like it's loaded up pretty good. It's not the heavy one I was talking about, but uh, still, hopefully there's a lot of good and valuable items in here. Oh my gosh, wow, we got a whole bunch of uh, $10,000 chips. Let's get those out of the way first. Uh, 50 grand. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, we got four of the white dice. So we have the potential to win eight white dice in total because there's four more in there. So like I said, those multiply our winnings. And we also got two of the golden dice. So that'll multiply our gold by whatever they land on. 
That is absolutely amazing. All right, so now it's time to move on to the second mystery bag. Now this one was the heavy one that I was uh, talking about earlier. So let's check this one out, see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness, this one was loaded up even better than the last one. We got uh, two ounces of gold. It's not bad, not bad at all. And uh, we got some $25,000 chips on this one. We got four of those, so that's a hundred grand right there. I'll take it. And we got, uh, oh my goodness, five more of the white dice. And uh, let's see, we got four more of the gold dice. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, this is going to be a massive win today, no doubt about that. So anyhow, I'm actually going to play off camera for a while and try to get these towers to get moving. Or I'll actually leave the camera on and I'll just uh, edit out the boring parts of the video. So uh, I'm going to get back to pushing and I will see you all whenever the towers are about to fall. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I was playing off camera for probably about, uh, oh goodness. 44 minutes 45 minutes something like that i think the camera said like 44 minutes and 26 seconds can't really remember the exact amount of time but anyway you get what i'm saying i was playing off camera for a while and not even the two twenty-five thousand dollar chip towers that was close to the edge were moving so uh i went ahead and called them back here paid an extra hundred thousand dollars and they put all four of them towers on the pressure so uh yeah, they're in pretty good spots, but they are stacked up pretty tall. But uh, they did say if we end up losing something to the blue shelf, uh, they would do a free reset. Well, thank goodness, because uh, we lost 20 grand and a white dice, so we definitely can't miss out on that. All right, so I think we got one of them uh, white dice so far. Oh my gosh, well, we just lost another one over there. And I don't know if you can see it, but the other white dice, it's like buried underneath those chips right there. You might can see it a little bit. Well, there you go. You can see it now. It's about to fall off of the edge of the pusher. Nice. There we go. So, uh, yeah, this is a ton of money in here. Let's try to uh, win it all out of there. And uh, I'll call them back here and have them do that free reset here shortly. Yeah, I can't believe we lost two of the white dice today. That's crazy. We lost them to the uh, blue shelves. Well, I guess we do need to get that loot chute cleared out. Now, just to be sure we don't lose that one right there in the center. Yeah, for the ones who don't know, there's actually this little uh, opening area right up above the uh, payout chute. And it's big enough for a mystery bag to fit down in there, so that should tell you something. And I think they have that in there on purpose so people will lose stuff. But uh, anyway, if it boils over and gets too full, you have a high chance of uh, losing something. And it'll fall inside the machine and uh, it will go to the exact same location as the side slots on the left and the right. It will go into this great big old like, loot box in there and that goes to the owner. So, uh... Yeah, that's why it's best to keep that loot shoot cleared out at all times. And uh, back when I first started playing these, well, not really back when I first started, let's just say probably about a year ago, I remember uh, 10 of the white dice had like fallen over the edge here. And uh, there was only like six or seven of them down there in the loot shoot. So that can only mean one thing, that they fell inside the machine. So we technically missed out on millions that day. And to this day, I'm still pretty upset about that. I wish I would have said something to them. Yeah, and we just lost like 20 grand to the gutter over there on the right side. And let's push on this left side to try to get those chips to go on past the gutter. And we'll call them back here and have them do that free reset here in just a moment. Oh, nice. That was a good push right there. About to get that uh, $10,000 chip on the rock. Nice, there we go. That was a good push. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and call them back here and have them do that free reset. Because they'll probably leave that 30 grand in there regardless. So uh, let's go ahead and call them back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They did a free reset. They uh, put all those $10,000 chips 
into a brand new tower back there. It's a small tower, which it should be pretty easy to knock down. Don't see no reason why we struggle to win any of that out of there. And they put the two watt dots on top of that tower. So yeah, we should be able to win that. So uh, wish me the best of luck. Oh nice, there we go. The two uh, white dice made it down to the lower shelf and the $10,000 chips. But yeah, uh, back to talking about what I was saying earlier about losing money at these. Uh, there has been several occasions where I've lost half a million, I mean half a billion, sorry. Half a billion dollars playing these machines. Yeah, I remember this one time the buy-in started off at 10 million and it was a one quarter challenge. I'm not kidding when I say this. I bought in 50 times and didn't win anything back. So that was half a billion dollars just lost right there. And that goes to show you that you can really, really lose your money at these. Like even a, a one quarter challenge with a one million dollar buy-in. Just think of saving up one million dollars over the years, right? And then just buying in for one quarter. You put the one quarter in there and it doesn't do anything at all. That's like years of work for nothing, pretty much. So I wouldn't suggest anybody ever play these, just being honest. So anyway, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely marvelous. This has been a fantabulous game today. Absolutely fantabulous. So now I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 19 dice in total. We got 13 of the white dice and 6 of the golden dice. They'll put all uh, 19 of them dice on the pusher. And we got to roll them on out to that lower shelf. Whatever they all land on, we're going to get the multiplier winnings in our goal by those numbers. So let's call them over here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and B coin pusher has returned. Let's keep it going. So uh, this right here is where the magic is about to happen. Hopefully we can uh, multiply all those millions of dollars we won by a whole bunch today. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness, they're doing super, super good so far. Well, except for that one right there. The ones do not count at all, by the way. So if any of the dice land on ones, just uh, pretend they don't exist. Oh no, well that uh, four is headed straight for the gutter. Oh no, we might end up losing it. I'm not sure. Let's just try to push like on the left area no well we lost it well at least somebody else will get that well that six is about headed toward the gutter see that all right so let's try to roll that last gold dice on down to the lower shell all right well it landed on a five so well we missed out on that four that's pretty unfortunate but still literally all those other dice landed on some absolutely amazing numbers so i'm gonna count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold ball that and I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a $20 million and $100,000 buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I have won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning $14,276,000. That is the chips and the cash put together. And all the white dice today totaled up to 32. So I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 32. And in total, I ended up winning 456 million. $832,000 from a $20 million and $100,000 buy-in. That is just insane. Holy cow, I am absolutely shocked right now. I can't believe we've made that much money today, especially from a $20 million buy-in. Oh my goodness, I am amazed right now. That was an unexpected profit right there. I was not expecting to make that much. Oh my gosh, I'm literally shaking right now. This is just insane. Holy cow, that's a ginormous win. But anyhow, moving on, we also won 127 ounces of gold. And uh, all the gold dice totaled up to 29, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 29. And in total, I ended up winning 3,683 ounces of gold. And uh, the spot price of gold is like $2,030 an ounce right now, I think. So that means we got $7,476,490 in gold. So that right there is like almost like half of our buy-in back just in gold bars alone. That is exceptional. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning 3,146 quarters. 
And uh, we didn't win any silver dice today, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got an extra $786.50 in quarters. That is super, super nice right there. That's a ginormous win for the quarter. So anyhow, uh, that right there is not bad. Not bad at all for a $20,100,000 buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, be sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And uh, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out uh, my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out one of Coin Pressure's videos, that will appear at the top left of the screen. And uh, lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.